We are in Torrey, Utah today. We're hiking up and into Cohab Canyon here at Capitol Reef National Park in Southern Utah. The beginning of the hike is straight up with some wonderful views of the old Fruita Campground down below. Gorgeous. Once inside the upper canyon, paradise, a beautiful valley filled with trees and powerful rock formations. Inside the valley, my favorite part of the hike, several slot canyons that were frankly a real surprise and they are filled with history. As we are hiking up, I'll give you a little bit of background. The Cohab Canyon Trailhead is off Scenic Drive, beginning near Fruta, and it's about 1.7 miles out and 1.7 miles back. The climb up here is approximately a half mile, and the height gain is about 500 feet. The elevation at the trailhead is about uh, 5,480 feet, so at the very top here will be about 6,000 feet in the air. My personal rating for this hike is moderate with a little strenuous walk up. You see it right here. The National Park Service feels the same. They call it a moderate hike. So how did Cohab Canyon get its unusual name? Well, Cohab Canyon is named for the cohabitators in southern Utah. These are Mormon polygamists who supposedly took refuge in the canyon when U.S. Marshals came looking for them during the federal campaign against Mormon polygamy back in the 1880s. Literally, the Mormon polygamists hid their multiple wives and children in slot canyons off the main valley. You're going to see those in a moment. Thus, Cohab or Cohabitation Canyon. We are continuing to head up. Looking forward to seeing that valley up there somewhere. At last, we made it to the top and we are entering the beautiful valley right here. Inside the valley, it got a lot cooler and a lot prettier. My wife called this valley paradise and I completely agree. It is really pretty inside here. This is the first of four slot canyons off the valley we're entering right now, and this is the place where the Mormons allegedly hid their multiple wives and children. Yes, that is rain. It's uh, light rain out here today. This first slot canyon dead ends right here, can't go any farther. 
This is the second slot canyon off the valley. This is an unusual slot canyon as it appears to have a ramp up to the top of the canyon. Here's the third slot canyon off the valley. This one is impossible to navigate. It gets really narrow about 30 feet in. This is the fourth slot canyon off the valley and my personal favorite just seems to go on forever back in here. This slot canyon opens into a circular chamber, ideal for stashing people. By the way, you can reach Cohab Canyon off of Highway 24 in addition to Scenic Drive. We hiked Cohab Canyon off of both entrances, but I think Scenic Drive is better because it gets you to the beautiful valley quicker. Gorgeous. As we hiked on, the valley opened up to beautiful vistas. We thought Cohab Canyon was an absolutely magnificent hike. Paradise, <laughs> you decide.